Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is a morning market prep video for May 3rd, 2021. Well, my goodness, last week, I think everyone would agree, was a very, very confusing and frustrating week as we had company after company report blowout earnings and the market just kind of shrugged and went yeah whatever um and largely chopped back and forth just punishing lots and lots of traders that tried to um, move through um, and react to earnings reports so what does that mean for today well how about we grab ourselves something to drink let's uh, settle into our office chair and let's get ready for the monday edition of the morning market prep video well good morning once again everyone i hope you all had a fantastic weekend a restful weekend and let's hope that this week will be a little bit more rewarding to um, actually have gotten up and turned on your computer. Let's take a look at what we've got in our technicals here in the charts and see if we can gain any information. What we've got going here is a very, very wide choppy consolidation, as you can see. If I, if I shift this to the Dow itself and just measure from this high range down to this low range in the chart. Notice we've got about 500 points in that uh, choppy range. And so that has obviously been quite challenging for traders in this wide ranging choppiness that we've seen. And, and, and honestly, a relatively confusing um, situation where we've seen such great earnings in the market just not caring. Now, this morning, all of a sudden, we're seeing the futures um, get all kinds of inspired, and we're seeing the Dow futures up 220 points on basically nothing. So, um, kind of an interesting situation here. But the question we all have probably in the back of our mind rattling around is, will this just be another disappointing pop and drop, or will we whipsaw multiple times throughout the day because that seems to be the method we um we see those institutions pump and pump and pump in the pre-market and then it just goes nowhere so maybe today maybe today we actually see some follow-through um but we're going going to have to be a little bit careful as we approach this one of the things we don't want to do what's the old saying you know fool me once shame on you fool me twice shame on me and how many times did the market fool us last week trying to pop or drop and then just whipsaw throughout the day? So let's not fall for this again. Let's make sure we actually see some follow through buying before we jump in um, and see that momentum come through in the market. Let's take a look here. If we were to draw a trend up through here, notice that we've kind of slipped that trend and kind of fell apart along that area. But if we draw a trend out here, we're still in pretty good shape, but it is suggesting that possibility that we may still need a little bit more rest here in um, the market. Now, let's take a look at our price support level. Now, our price support level, I think, is pretty substantial here and looking pretty good. So although we had that selling coming in on Friday, one of the things I noted to the folks in Rentway Options is we just never broke down never broke through it was a really weird day on friday and um just kind of lingering on it's it's like most of the market just decided to take the rest of the week off and um now we're trying to get this inspiration here this morning based on what virtually nothing we know that india's got record numbers of covid problems we know that china taiwan and now philippines are kind of all rattling sabers um, in that area um, i'm not exactly sure why all of a sudden over the weekend we're getting this inspiration but that being said, if we can actually see some follow through to the upside, that would be positive for us. And we certainly have a platform that we can move from. The question is, can we trust what we see here in the pre-market? Let's take a look at our um, SPY, SPY. 
again, SPY had a better week last week, uh, lifting a little bit more. Notice this really, really tight range consolidation that held in here, almost like nothing was going on. And we're trying to push higher this morning. We still have all-time high resistance levels. And if we take note of where we find trend, you know, if I draw a trend through here, we still have um, a considerable more time that could turn into a consolidation. Um, if those bears were to find some reason to be inspired and push the market back. Albeit we have some pretty decent price support in here if that were to occur. But let's watch this carefully and remember, just don't chase. Make sure that we have some actual follow through buying here this morning and not just another pop and drop or whipsaw um, to chop up accounts uh, more. Let's take a look um, at the QQQ. And one of the themes that's going on here is as you look at these charts, um, we are still in bullish trends in these markets, though we've been in this ugly choppy consolidation for, well, most of April, we just kind of ranged around in this ugly uh, choppy mess. Um, let's take a look here. If we connect our trend here, notice that we still have a little more time that this may still slide sideways. We have bonds this morning slipping back just a tiny little bit. Um, and that that's gonna be important here for the NASDAQ. Notice that we have the diamonds and spy trying to push up, but not so much energy here in the NASDAQ yet. And we have a considerable resistance high here that has formed in that chart. So keep in mind, we could still see that NASDAQ just range around in here um, in the chart. And particularly if we start to see those bonds um, rallying a little bit more, we'll wanna watch that closely. So QQQ holding on to support, but not showing as much energy as we are showing in um, the Diamonds and Spy this morning. Then let's take a look at IWM. Now IWM struggled here a little bit last week, um, putting in a pretty ugly bearish engulfing candle here, which really puts us into a situation of a possible downtrend. And unfortunately, we followed through with that yesterday. Now let's keep in mind, we also have this uptrend creating this symmetrical wedge or this symmetrical triangle. Now what that means is anything is possible. If we can find the inspiration to push on through, we could finally push on out and break through there, holding on to this price support area in the chart. However, if those bears find some reason for inspiration, we could certainly drift down below here. So just watch that closely and carefully. Who knows what happens from this point, but we just want to make sure that we're not rushing in with a whole bunch of um well fear of missing out because we may just miss out on the whipsaw or may just miss out on the pop and drop um, that could occur if we can't find the momentum to follow through let's take a look at our vix now our vix on friday continued to show a little bit of fear rallying in the market but it never got severe. So we have this higher low setting up in here, but let's keep in mind, we've been moving in this downtrend here for some time in the VIX. With the futures popping up this morning, what we need to see is this pushing back. We have seen recently where the markets moved up and the VIX has moved up with it. So we'll wanna watch that carefully. And keep in mind that as long as we stay below this resistance level, I think we're in pretty good shape Overall, what we don't want to see is some kind of hold of this downtrend as support or a breakthrough up here and hold. That's where we could really run into some trouble, so watch that close. Let's take a look at our T2122. This is the four week new high, new low ratio. And if you take a look at this, we have been up here for a considerable time in a overbought condition here in the market. And Friday, we finally saw this give up a little bit a little bit of weakness came in and we saw that relieve some pressure on that overbought condition.
Now, this morning we're looking to gap up a couple hundred points. And if that were to, to occur, which I suspect it's going to occur, if we gap up a couple hundred points, I'm guessing that we are going to be very quickly right back up here in this overbought condition. And that's where that possibility that we could pop and, and whipsaw or uh, pop and drop on the day. We'll have to be watching that closely, that possibility that we you know, expend all of that energy first thing this morning and then not see um, any follow through. So watch that pretty carefully and closely and just realize we could be right back up here in that danger zone of pullback again really, really quickly in T2122. Take a look at T2101. Now T2101, still a big concern because we're just not seeing a whole lot of this absolute breadth index responding. Um, we continue to drift in this downtrend um, in that breadth. And we did pull back here on Friday. So let's keep a close eye on this. We don't want to see this continuing to sink. We need to see a little bit more breadth coming into the market. Get us a little bit of momentum, a little bit of follow through. Um, that's what we're looking for here in the market. Then let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Now our economic calendar, we've got a couple things today that we want to pay attention to, but a lighter week on the calendar than we had last week, which is nice. We've got PMI manufacturing, we've got ISM manufacturing, and we've got construction spending this morning. Um, ISM is obviously the, the um, most notable here today that we'll want to keep an eye on, but um, we might also want to keep an eye on construction spending um, because we're starting to see those mortgage applications to decline rather sharply and we could see those numbers starting to pull back so watch that close notice we've got international trading goods here on um, tuesday we'll keep an eye on that we've got ISM and petroleum status on Wednesday, jobless claims and productivity coming in on Thursday. And then we've got that big employment situation number on Friday. It is not um, odd to see after we get kind of toward the middle of the week, see the market become very light and choppy as we wait on this number. So um, watch that carefully. I'm not going to rule out the possibility that we could continue to consolidate in this wide choppy range waiting on that employment situation number. So just keep that in mind. Then let's take a look at that earnings calendar. On the earnings calendar, we have more than 100 companies reporting. And um, I want to um, ask everyone, if you want to catch the full list of notables, to please do me a favor. If you could um, click that link um, just below the title of the video, that will send you over to the morning blog. And the blog, I have a full list of those notable reports this morning because I won't be able to cover them all. However, let's cover just a few of them here this morning. Let's take a look at CAR. CAR reporting today. Keep a close eye on that. Avis, we've seen this rally substantially here recently, pushing back up um, to pre-COVID numbers in Avis rent a car. Let's see if they can produce enough earnings to keep that going here or not. And then um, we'll hear from Estee Lauder. Estee Lauder looks like they have disappointed here this morning. Big bearish engulfing candle in the pre-market. Notice this has been in a very, very strong upside trend. Um, looking for a pullback maybe here this morning. We're also going to hear from L. This has been on a, a substantial upside move and uh, keep a close eye on that. We're going to hear from Mosaic. That will be an interesting one. Ag products have been very, very strong here recently. See if they can follow on through. And last but not least that I'm going to bring up this morning, let's take a look at RIG. Um, oil sector stocks have been a um, little bit um, challenging here recently with a little bit of whipping around, but they've they uh, finished the week nice last week. So let's keep an eye on this, whether or not um, this is going to hold this price support. 
start breaking through this little downtrend. So keep a close eye on RIG as it reports today. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a quick favor. If this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. And I just want to say thank you to everyone who does take the time to do that and clicks those thumbs up buttons, leaves a brief comment, and helps the channel to continue to grow. And I got to tell you, we've been seeing a surge in growth here lately, and I just a huge shout out to everyone. Thank you so much um, for your supporting uh, this content. It truly, truly is appreciated. So thank you very, very much. And also I want to, um, a huge shout out to those folks who are supporting the channel through the buy me a coffee link below the title of the video. Um, you guys are awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much. I, I truly, truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at some stock setting up and remember that as I show you these stock setting up that there's no um, recommendation here to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, I would truly suggest that you do your own due diligence. Make sure you understand the risk of every single trade before you enter that position. Blindly following anyone else's trade ideas is a terrible idea. Let's take a look and I'm going to show a few of the Spider Select ETFs that I think are kind of interesting here. And it's a great way to drill down and find some good quality stocks. So let's take a look. XLY, as you can see, this consumer discretionary has been holding up really, really well. And it's been in this consolidating um, range here. Let's keep an eye on that. If that were to happen to contact this trend out here, it could easily start moving higher. And um, with the TC2000 uh, system, if, if anyone has that or is interested, I highly recommend this software. It's just a one-click uh, move to jump right to um, some stocks that are moving this index. And things that we have been looking at in right way options or were looking at last week in right way options, Domino's Pizza, take a look at that, looking really, really strong to the upside, um, moving through nicely. Take a look at Garmin. Now Garmin has pulled back, but um, if this is going to uh, push through today, that might be an interesting little pullback to keep a close eye on for an opportunity in the trade. Notice that we've been seeing some of these casinos trying to push back up and move on higher. Might be worth watching those. So there's a few that you might want to pay attention to um, as we continue. I've got to say some of these retailers have been doing really, really strong. GPS holding up very nicely. Notice we've got this nice little hold of support through here. Um, nice little resting pullback. Keep an eye on that. If this can continue to engage in this trend, um, GPS might be ready to start moving uh, back up. Let's take a look at XLI. The industrial sector has been incredibly strong. And as you can see, the industrial um, chart here, beautiful upside trend. And we're trying to push up this morning on that industrial sector. Once again, just clicking that one icon, we can jump right into stocks, moving things up here nicely. Um, I don't know if anyone was paying attention to these earnings reports that came in from UPS, but oh my goodness, um, UPS really, really strong. Now don't chase this. Wait for the next rest or pullback in that chart, but a beautiful upside move here on that chart. I think we should keep an eye on Caterpillar. Um, this is going to be interesting. We had a really good, strong earnings report. We ended up with a big old pop and drop there on um, that earnings report, but now we're trying to climb back up. Keep a close eye on that. See if that can push on through. We need those industrials if we're going to keep moving on up. And we certainly have beautiful trends in some of these charts like Fastenal looking very, very good. Keep a close eye on that. Then let's take a look at the financial sector. Um, whoops. Financials held up really well last week and really started to extend 
their move to the upside. And you can see this morning um, pushing up in the pre-market here, we broke through this price resistance in the chart. Now our trend is a little bit on the steep side. I wouldn't be too surprised after several days to the upside that we could see a little bit of rest or pullback coming in this um, relatively soon. But keep a close eye. Financials are starting to show a little bit of strength finally and um, showing some upside opportunity. So you might want to look at some of those um, sector stocks. Um, could be pretty darn nice. Um, take a look at the energy sector. If we take a look at XLE, now XLE has an interesting pattern here. Actually, it's one of my favorite patterns to trade. And that is when we break a downtrend, we rally through and then we pull back to test some price support and hold the downtrend as support. I wanna be watching this in here. This may rest a few more days, but keep a close eye on that. Energy could then start making that move back to the upside. Keep a close eye, looking pretty good overall. And last but not least, I wanna mention XLV in here. Healthcare sector, um, or excuse me, consumer discretionary sector has been um, chopping along in a consolidation, but notice that we're reaching out here into um, um, to that area. And I apologize because I've already shown that, but pretty nice looking chart and you might wanna keep um, an eye on that. Couple other stocks I will mention. I've been keeping a close eye here on Pfizer. Now I chose not to buy this on Friday and it looks like it may be trying to push, whoops, push just a little bit higher here this morning. Um, I've got a price alert on here and you can see it popped through, pulled back at the end of the day and trying to push up this morning. I may be looking for a position here in Pfizer, but watch that closely, keep a close eye on it. Um, also, I think it might be a good idea to take a look at steel um, and steel related stocks. Uh, the president is gonna go out on a tour trying to promote um, his infrastructure plan. And we know we've got um, uh, both houses uh, trying to wrangle over the details of that, the, the depth and scope of what that might be. But keep a close eye here on a stock like Steel Dynamics, breaking through that resistance, a little bit of resting pullback in here. We're kind of holding off in this trend area. Watch for that next opportunity to the upside in steel. Last but not least, just a couple little retailers that have been showing some signs of uh, bullishness. Now we had a bearish engulfing candle show up on Friday here on Lulu, but notice we really didn't break down and we haven't broken the trend. So if this continues to rest out here, I'd keep a close eye on Lulu for that next opportunity. And I gotta, you know, I hold this position in UAA. I, I wouldn't want to chase this at this point. I think a rest or pullback is due here on UAA, but something has really changed here. UAA is looking really, really strong, breaking that downtrend. So any rest or pullback that holds some price support in here, sets up that opportunity back to the upside. So with that, everyone, hey, I wanna wish you all a fantastic day. I wanna wish you great results in your trading. And I wanna say thank you to all of you that um, have been supporting this channel. I truly appreciate that. It, it, uh, it humbles me every day. So everyone have a great one. We'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning. And I wish you all the best in your trading today. Take care, everyone.